Uh, this is the Unstable 112 mod pack, episode 38. I upgraded them. It turns out the tenth injector here did have to go above, so I've just run some the crowd conduit up to power it. So we should, fingers crossed, uh, oops, be good to actually craft this stuff up now. Can't remember what. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. That and that. And those. Okay, I think that's everything we need. Like, of course, every nothing is sorted anymore, so let's quickly. Uh, reactor stabilizer. Four, so we need eight. Four ring in the cores. So that, that, those. Four. Oh, I probably... Okay, uh, wait, uh, we'll just grab some more. Um, someday I'll learn how to count. Okay. Or, so it should have been 16, right? Can I, can I math? 4, 4, 16. Okay, so no, I cannot math. There we go. Okay. Okay, so that's for the stabilizer, and then we need the four uh, chaotix, and then the and one of those four. Uh, wait. Okay, and the, the stabilizer thingies. Okay. We already. So it's for this. Okay. So we need the four of those? And then, okay, so four and three. So one, two, three, four, that go up there. Those, the core, and the iron. I believe the core is actually for this one over here, right? I lost my place. Nope, the core was for this one. So we need four of those, two of those, four of those. Four, four, two, and one. And then this one here. Requires four awakened and a chaos shard. Four of those and the chaos shard. Close. That was that was close. Okay, so let's start with the core, I guess. Oop. So two, three, four. One, two, three, and. The in there. This might take a little while. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I, I, I take it back. Uh, let's go in the center part. So we'll move those. Back over there. That. All right. Okay, whatever. I got it. One, one, two, three, four, one, and then the ring and the shard thingy, and we'll take the reactor. Put those in there. Perfect. Too bad they don't stack. That would have made this crafting a little bit quicker. But that's okay. Last one. One, two, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that in there. Perfect. Okay, so I think I think we got everything we're gonna need. I really hope the quantum bridge works. If it doesn't, this is gonna kinda 
turn into a nightmare. <clears throat> so, we need a dimension where I can go build this and not blow anything up. Do, 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 do. You could put it in where we have the star farm. Just, you know, dig a tunnel away from it and put it out there. That that gets oh, that gets really laggy really quick. I'm thinking we'll go put it in the end. Seems like a good place. This is far enough away from the main island so that I can still and as you can see I've, I've kind of been here a little bit digging. <clears throat> Had a little bit of a mess. But it's far enough away that even if something goes boom it meh shouldn't make a difference. Alright, so let's get our power. Awakened our crystals. Alright, let's start with the quantum. Oh, I didn't check if the other side was actually running right now. Huh. Put that there. That will go there. There's our peer to peer. We'll go here. And we will. Okay. Grab some uh, blocks for building here. So, the reactor part, we need, I'm trying to remember, we're going to need this thing, which is going to be really annoying to try to place. Hmm. There we go. So we need it to be pointed upwards. Then one, three, four, I think it is. Four way we have the core. Maybe it's five. We'll try five. Do you guys, do you guys mind just shoo away? So I'm trying to place this so that it, this side is that on that side, basically so it's pointed towards the. Uh, there you go. Pointed towards the core. <sighs> you are so annoying. There we go. So that's what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five away as well. Okay. I'm hoping this will work. Okay. Good. One, two, three, four, five. And I ran out of... Alrighty then. Mm. 
course I couldn't center it. That would have been too easy, right? Ugh. some cryo tubing going this way and then some coming this way and we're gonna put a put a gate I think. Uh, Right, this thing has the funky placing mechanics as well. Um, that work? Yes. That work? Perfect. Then from here, we're gonna run that out to our quantum bridge thing, which will be out here. Two, two. That in there. Put me up. And we'll put our. Uh, I guess I could just do one of these. Uh, nope. I don't like that. We're gonna go one further, one up. We. And we're gonna put this up here. Like so. Um, bummer. Okay. Uh, weird. Okay, so I'll have to take this back to the other side of the planet, or the other world, back to the base, and copy it to that one. But otherwise, I think it's good. Okay, we got our core, we got our injector. So this one here, on a low signal, since we don't have any redstone hooked up to this yet, we're going to want to pull out, say, 500,000 RF. Save that. This one we're going to want to put in, say, I don't know. We'll have to tweak this a bit, but I think these numbers will be okay for the moment. How much can you output? Uh, and this might take a little while. Huh. Okay. So. I'm going to right click on that. And we're going to do, 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 unlock it. I'm going to set it here. So we're, we've now saved this from this to this location, so we just teleport back here. And we'll relock it. Take us home! Alright, we'll head down here, and we'll jumpstart the quantum ring here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is set up to... Yeah, it'll only take power from the reactor, and then the power itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually change that. And put the... Put it here. Come on, another way up there. Dig a hole. There we go. And I'll connect it to this line. Right? So that means that... It's getting power out of the capacitor bank, so this end should never go dead. Even if something goes wrong on the reactor side, this end should still put out uh, power. I hope. That's how the theory works, anyway. Right? We'll see what actually happens. Whoops. I copied this one to my card again. 
Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so this reactor or this ring is up and running. Right. So we should be able to get the other one running. How are we going to test if it's working now? Hmm. Okay, let's see how much power we have being generated here. 45,000. So that's going to be how we test it. Alright, so what I'll do is, for the time being, I will just add a new one here and, um... Good enough. That way we can teleport back right to this location and check the uh, reactor. Okay. So, we've copied it, we right-click, loaded the device. Okay. Now, if I connect power here, and set it to... Oh, what? This... Uh... First off, lighting is kind of weird, but... Why are you not... Why are you not opening power at all? Hmm. Oh, you are. Slowly. Are we running into the same problem with the other ring that, that it requires like a battery or something? Hmm. Okay. Let's, we'll go make a um, applied energistics battery for this. We just need the low tier one here. And I apologize for the noise outside. There's nothing I can do about it. We have uh, quite a bit of snow here, and the city has finally decided to clean. Oh, so I need flux dust. Okay. So they're out there uh, clearing the streets, finally. Which is kind of weird, because they usually only do that once the snow is gone. They, they seem to come around to clear the streets. And I don't mean sweep, I mean, like, actually plow the streets. It's, it's weird. It's, it's really weird. Okay, so we have a battery. Let's head back to our city. So if we put this thing here... You're outputting power. Are you working? You're not connected. Hmm! Like, you're not even... I see slight particle effects, and it is lit up. Hmm. Like that. Alright, well, let's go fuel in. Ooh, ominous noise. Okay, so it's going to start charging. I haven't started the reactor yet. It's just going to charge up the uh, containment field strength to 50%. I, I hope this is enough power, but we'll, we'll see. I don't think it is. <laughs> hmm. Could try. Oh, I know what we'll do first. Uh, let's just load this area here. There we go. Is that? It's really hard to see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just to you too. We're gonna go stand over here. We're gonna see. Okay, so. 
this is going to be the quantum and the line going over. So I'm guessing our reactor's in this chunk over here, actually. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, go like that. We'll take a look, and yeah, so it'll be in these two chunks here. Okay, good enough. How are we doing here? 46, 49.3. And it's empty. Well, okay. Let's just... Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's head here. What we can do is... Put this thing... Aw. We'll just switch this to charge. That can charge up while we're waiting. And I was thinking what we can do is just run a temporary line just to make sure that the um, the quantum bridge here is actually working across dimensions, right? So now if we head back there, check it, is it gaining power? 50%. Okay, so the quantum bridge is working across dimensions. Nice. So let's kill off our feedback loop of nastiness here. Because we want to actually generate power. Oh, uh, where's my magnet? Magnet, where are you? No, oh, really, where are you? Huh. Bummer. I don't... I don't know where it went. Oh. I just blind and not seeing it? Imagine everyone's at this looking at the screen right now, yelling, No, it's right there. Uh-huh. So it's not in that bag either. You can't go in those because those are mining bags. Oh darn. I guess I'll have to make a new one. Oh well, not biggie. Alright, so let's make sure power has somewhere to go, so we'll pump it into that thing. You're fully charged, so we'll take you with us. And let's go get this reactor running. So these reactors are a little bit funky. They're very pretty and they're, as you can hear, kind of noisy. Uh, warming up. saturation. Am I missing something? I mean, I can give you more power if that's what you're looking for. It is. Okay. Usually there's a start button here, so I'm guessing this energy saturation also has to get up. I wonder how high. Hmm. So, they've added a new thing in here. Um, fail save. Format error. I, I don't know if that's just a, a typo or just... I don't, I don't get it, but... Eh. So failsafe, uh, when the reactor will automatically initiate shutdown, basically if the temperature gets too low or the saturation gets too high, it'll just shut down your reactor. Which, you know, it's good. You know, if suddenly your capacitor is full and the power has nowhere to go, it'll just shut itself down instead of going kaboom. Uh, we don't have any redstone hooked up to this yet. So it does take a fair amount of power. 
I'm just curious how high the energy saturation has to get. Probably somewhere up here. Okay. Let's put the, the line of power back, I guess. Um. I suppose I could have just, you know, clicked on that, flipped it around. It would just start feeding power out. How much are we losing? Eh, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oops, right, the orb. There you go. So that should be generating power again. Yeah, we got power coming in. Okay. How are we doing? Energy saturation, 34%. So I could ramp it up to make it go faster by doing one of these. Oh, just Back to 200,000. Okay, so the reactor is good, we've got shields, we've got energy saturation, and we've got the temperature up. Awesome. Let's go kill our loop back, so that the power will just come one way, not go two ways. And I'll explain why when we go back to the reactor. And city, back to the reactor. Okay, so what's going to happen now is power that we were using to charge the reactor, this line, will continue to feed power to the reactor. Keep the shield up. We are going to be drawing power out of this stabilizer down here at a rate of 500,000. 200,000 of which is going to go that way. The rest of it will go back through the quantum bridge here. And already killed the quantum bridge. Lovely. Uh, can I... Hmm. I wanted to see if there was a way I could charge this thing. I guess if I did one of that, one of those, that ought to work. Okay. So now some of the power will go into that energy cell, I'm hoping. So let's just activate. So currently we're generating 300,000 RF per tick, and we're injecting 147 into the shields. So the shields are still rising. So we could probably drop this down a little bit. Let's say 160, 160,000 for now. All right. So when this hits 160,000, it's going to stop. So this is where things get a little weird, because you can adjust the numbers going into the field strength, the, the field input rate, and the amount you're pulling out. And the reactor will try to balance and adjust for that. So it, it's great if you have computer craft or something like that, that can automatically adjust the, the input into the reactor and the output numbers, but since we don't, kind of manual, and I plan on just finding certain numbers that work and, you know, hands off after that point. <clears throat> so right now containment strength is still climbing. Energy saturation is still climbing. Okay, so why don't we just jump this up? Say 150,000. Or 550,000. Am I not pulling out of this thing? At all? No, I am. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. So it looks like the quantum bridge is running. I am going to head back here. But we're not getting power on this side. Huh. Interesting. Frustrating, but interesting. Link input side. Um, okay. Online output side. Why is this? don't understand. Okay, so I copied it from that one. If I come to this side, right, and boop. Linked output side. Okay. So this side should be outputting power. There we go. Okay, now we're cooking. So let's head back to the reactor quickly. Just in time for it to explode, right? No. Please don't. Okay, so energy saturation is dropping, generation rate is increasing rapidly, temperature is going to rise as well, containment strength is dropping. Perfect. This is what I wanted to see. 200,000. So we're going to put more power into the, the, or the uh, containment. So the idea is to kind of keep the containment strength around 50%, which is just a matter of, you know, either, you know, cheating, going online and looking up what a good number is, or just kind of finding it yourself. Energy saturation's dropping, so I might want to adjust this for the moment. for 50 for the moment. Once the generation rate is up to the amount being pulled out, the energy saturation will slowly start going back up. I hope. <laughs> so while the draconic reactors are kind of neat, I am a little disappointed by their output, to be honest. Right? Like, most of the ones I saw online we're 500,000, 600,000, which is okay, I guess. Though for a mod that is incredibly overpowered, this part just seems kind of lackluster. Um, big reactors, max size, you could generate way more power than this. A lot safer, right? Because they don't explode. Yay. This one does. And it, it, it's not fun. It'll actually crash my whole game if I if it explodes. I, I tried it in a test world. <laughs> the explosion's glorious, though. It, it's it's beautiful. All right. So how are we doing here? Containment strength, fifty six percent. Good enough. Temperature's slowly rising. Also good enough. Energy saturation's still dropping, but we're almost four hundred thousand. So I think this works. I'm probably going to, you know, hang around, keep an eye on it for a little bit, but I think this is good enough for now. So, as always, I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one.